Okay, so there is really only one thing that will prevent you from getting into PA school. And I know that many of you are thinking about all of the other things that you have to do to get into PA school, but honestly, your acceptance into PA school comes down to the interview process. So let's talk about it right now. All right, you guys, so it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of like mock interviews lately and consulting sessions because students are gearing up for interviews that they have been um, granted because they applied early. So if you have not applied yet, um, you know, one of my tips is always to apply early. The cycle for CASPA, which is the application pretty much center of the PA world opens up in April of each year so I always tell you guys to try to get your applications in by May or June uh, just to kind of increase your chances but there are lots of students that are getting offered uh, interviews and so they're coming to get that to the university to get mock interviews and personal consulting by me and some of the other members of the GTCU team so that's been great and I've been loving doing all of that but the one thing that I've kind of been seeing over and over and over and over again is just kind of like the anxiety and the fear that comes about for this interview process. So I'm going to talk to you guys about that. I'm going to talk to you guys about some tips and then also I'm going to give you towards the end, so you have to stay till the end of the video, I'm going to give you the number one thing that I believe will prevent you from getting into PA school and it's like the best kept secret for the interview okay so uh, a lot of the questions that I've been getting were just in terms of the interview process is how does it work and obviously I can't answer that for all schools across the board but there are varying different types of interviews there are one-on-one -on -one interviews that you will actually experience with uh, may it be the director of the program or professors in the program there may be a group interview portion that you have to do. There may also be a written portion or a test portion. Now I know some of your anxiety level has just gone through the roof because you heard test, but yes, there are some interviews that include a test, um, you know, just on kind of PA related information and just kind of understanding where you are at this point in terms of your knowledge on sciences just in general, okay? So not something that you really study for, but definitely be prepared for it in terms of just your mindset when you're going into the interview. The group interview is usually you and maybe three or four more students. You're going to get typically a scenario uh, or a series of questions and you each answer a different aspect of the question or come together as a team to come up with an answer for the question being posed to you. And a lot of that is just to kind of see how you work in a collaborative manner and how do you work as a team and how you might fit in with the cohort that they're already trying to build for this upcoming school year. The one-on-one -on -one is obviously to just kind of get an idea of who you are as a person and kind of see exactly like the type of student that you were, the type of student that you will be, and you know, the type of PA student that they want to enter into their cohort again because it's all about building a con like a concise, cohesive, congruent um, cohort moving forward. So those are the types of interviews that typically happen and then there's usually a, an aspect of it where you may get to meet some of the students that are currently going to the program where you can ask them questions uh, about the program, you know, things that they like and dislike. And so when preparing for the interview, you need to for sure look at the school, look at what they are doing um, in the community and as a whole, um, you know, go to their message boards, those type of things, just to get a better better information on, you know, the the temperature, I guess you can say, of the program, and then have really good questions that you want to ask the director and the students um, to not only be memorable, but also to get some answers on is this place exactly where you want to be, okay? 
Um, another thing that I saw uh, in my mock interviews that I've been doing is just kind of like a lack of confidence, right? And so this kind of goes in with, I think, the best kept secret, but a lot of students are not like confident in their answers or they are nervous. And I mean, imagine if you're nervous with me, Adana, who is just a random girl on YouTube making videos for you guys. Um, you know, so if you're nervous with me uh, and I can't really do anything for you in terms of getting you into PA school as in like, hey, here's your acceptance. I can help you get into PA school through Get That C University by giving you the tools necessary to, to, to excel in these areas uh, that are proficient for getting you into PA school, but to actually give you an acceptance, that's my hands are tied on that sense, but you're nervous nonetheless. Then imagine when you get into the interview. And that is something that I try to tell any student, pre-PA student that is doing a mock interview with me or a consulting session with me. I want you to keep your nerves under wrap, right? You know, like you're here, you're in this process, you've made it. So for sure, like make sure that you're, you're in a zen space to the point where you're able to just adequately think about the answer that you want to give to whoever it is that's asking you the question and then answer that question directly, okay? Don't beat around the bush, answer the question and then move on. And that is what I want everybody to kind of take away from this as well is to just be confident in yourself. But I feel like the one thing that will prevent you from getting into PA school is messing up the interview. And if you mess up the interview, like you're done. You're, you're you know, you, you're not accepted into the program, that's it. And with that being said, the best kept secret of the PA school interview is not the fact that they are looking for a reason to accept you into their program, but they're looking for reasons to not accept you into your pro their program. Now think about that, right? You know, it's like, whoa, mind blowing it out. <laughs> But no, honestly, it's like, I want you to really ponder that, you know, and it's not like meant to be like some super, super deep moment, but really and truly, you guys, you have been offered an interview out of thousands of applications and hundreds of interviewees, you have been offered an interview because they want you. They feel like from the information that they, you have given them on your application, they want you. And so at the end of the day, when it comes down to the interview, it's about, hey, what is wrong with this person that I don't want them in my program? Honestly, and like, and that really is just like the basics of it. That is just down to the bare bones foundation. Like, yes, you know, we're gonna look at all of your GPA or GRE, you know, how you answer questions, how you, react to certain people asking you certain questions? How are you going to deal with certain situations? They're looking for things and reasons not to accept you. So what you need to do is to go in confidently, going knowing that, hey, these people actually want you. You've made it this far. You are successful. You've done a great job. You've done all of the things needed to get you up to this point. So all you need to do is kill that interview. Be confident in yourself and know that this is for you, okay? And so that is what I wanted to share with you guys. That is by far the <laughs> best kept secret, okay? The best kept secret of the PA school interview. Um, and I think of really any interview that, that you will have in life, job interview, whatever the case may be, they're looking for reasons not to hire you, not to accept you because clearly they see something in you that seems attractive to them and to, to their company or to their school or whatever it is that you're interviewing for. But now we have to just kind of dig a little bit deeper and see like, will you actually be a good fit? and these are the reasons why you won't be a good fit or these are the reasons why you will be a good fit and then they go from there, okay? All right, so if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Guys, please go look at Get That to University right now because we're doing mock interviews, personal consultings. Um, that is where I do all my consultations. I know a lot of you have been going to my AdonaThePA.com site, but all of the consulting is done through Get That to University. So if you wanna meet with me or any of the other numerous consultants on the site, then 
and you have to go through get that c university.com okay so check us out over there follow me on instagram and on the pa and on instagram at get that c university thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time bye